so good. It tells me to check my speakers. Can you guys hear me? I can. Yes, we can. All right, and I just- Four by four. Hold on. Uh, hello, girls. How are you? Good, Jackie, and yourself? Diane! <laughs> Hi, Diane, how are you? Good, <laughs> needing to get back in gear. Mm. That's what we're doing. And who else? Sharon Young? Mm -hmm. Hi, babe. And Juanita. Mm -hmm. Juanita yes. always has these strange backgrounds. <laughs> I'm here. I'm cooking. I'm getting my spaghetti squash out. You either have Hawaiian back of you. What do you got now? That's, a, that's all of Wahoo. That's where we're supposed to go next year. What is that? Manitou. With Manitech. Oh, okay. Good. I'm eating frozen cherries. Mm. Oh yeah, good. With apples. Who's who's crying at my door? Nobody. Okay, so Diane, uh, you got to get back on track, right? Yes, and I was doing really good for about two months, and then crashed, and I don't know if it was because I had not taken enough plus that day. Oh, we're blaming it on plus? No, no, <laughs> I, I, uh, I was one of those, I was one of those that ran out of uh, the plus when it was back ordered. That's not a good thing. No, tell me about it, tell me about it. And I had, um, Joellen had, uh, encouraged me to get up and I was about doing about 16 a day and I was really starting to feel better and starting to sleep a little bit better and that and uh, all of a sudden it was like man I took a, I took a nosedive catch tell uh, well so, let me ask you a few questions <clears throat> 16 is awfully high I mean eight a day is good four and four or in between but well, they keep telling me with um, the amount of stress with being a caregiver and Jim and, and that was and, my next question. How much stress are you under? <laughs> you, you don't want to go there. Okay, you don't I get it. You don't I'm, get it. I'm, I'm in the same place right now. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, we just got a, a we're in a beautiful big home that we sought out last year uh, to move in and enjoy. And this time uh, I, I didn't want to buy. So I got rid of my house and I wanted to rent in a new city in a beautiful home that uh, we just love. And we just got an email two weeks ago saying they are selling the house. Uh. So now they put it up <laughs> for sale last weekend. And it's sold. So now we're looking for a place to live and there's nothing on the market. <laughs> so now I'm up in my plus. <laughs> I hear you. But, uh, uh, you, you know, regardless, it's, it's the situation with being stressed out means that you need more protein. This is, it's very, very important that you get back on track because your nervous system isn't going to handle this. You're a caregiver. I have been there a million times and uh, it, it preys on you all through the day and through the night. So I know you're not sleeping well either. And I've got this belly. I've got probably everything right around the middle, probably about 40 pounds. And it's really depressing when you can't get it off. I've started back walking. I've got, the, I've got that done. I've actually, Juanita encouraged me to get that second um, uh, thing of soy milk into me in the afternoon. 
And I remembered why I only took one cup of coffee because I was awake all night long. Yeah, I said, I, I said, you know, I can't remember why I only drank. I said, I only drank one cup of coffee. I never had to. I never had to. Well, I remembered why. Didn't take very long. It only took once. One night I was awake all night long. Now everybody <laughs> knows. Everybody knows who's on right now and beyond. Everybody knows what happens to me if I have coffee after two in the afternoon. Well, I remember you saying that. I'm vacuuming at 3 a.m. You know, I, I'm up and I can't function. So here's the deal. You, how much do you think you have to lose? Probably a good 40. Okay, so we're in the middle of June. No, we're almost at the end. Okay. Yeah, we're at that. We're at that. We're at the end. But I back started to. Well, I did not. Uh, there was a death in one of the relatives, and I came home and I said to Jim because I want. It was just announced this morning that he had passed, so oh. I wanted Jim to know. So I did not get my walk in. Usually, it's if there's a certain time, and if I don't get it done by ten, it's not done. Okay, so. so Here's, hi, Idris. Thanks for joining us. Um, here's the deal. Uh, you are, okay, we're going into July, so let's just talk about July. July and August, you can get at least 20 off, okay? Then September, October, before the holidays, you can have the 40 off. But that means you have to really follow the the uh, this the whole program to a T. Uh oh, what's going on with Michelle? Are you just chilling out? I am so chilling right now. I love it. I am exhausted. <laughs> okay, so Diane, we're all on this support call, and we've been doing this for uh, quite a while now because. People went through a lot of stressful times. People were put into suppression, oppression, craziness. The whole country is like was out of control, number one. Number two, uh, people lost their jobs, their houses, their businesses. People are just the vibration of what everybody's going through. And then when everybody was wearing masks, they've lost their identity. They don't even look at you, you know? And then I go around without a mask and then they look at me. And the, the thing is the attitude amongst everybody has been so uptight and tense and they're confused. A lot of the information coming out right now is, is horrifying because it was not all true. But the bottom line is what, it ha what happened to you and what happened to us. And what did we do? We let ourselves go or we weren't able to pay attention to ourselves. So we took the importance of what was important to us off of ourselves. And everybody woke up and there were 30, 40, 60, uh, 80 uh -huh. pounds overweight. And that's why I thought, oh my God, everybody is so affected by this issue. You've got the do double whammy. You're uh -huh. a caregiver and you're around, and that's just added stress. If you didn't have all this garbage going on about what's happening, you know, it, that's one thing. So for you to put on 40 pounds and to have your, your midsection fuller, you know, that's where you digest, absorb, and eliminate. You're not, you probably have very low energy. And right. how's your focus? Can you <laughs> forget it? Okay, never mind. You're a mess. Yeah. So, look, uh, this is what we call, and Michelle will tell you, it's boot camp. If you're really truly wanting to get those 40 off before the holidays, you have got to not pay attention to what's happening to the outside world. Deal with your inside caregiving. And at the same time, equally as important, what you're putting in your mouth, when you're putting it in there and how, and how you're putting it in there. 
So in other words, you've got to go along with the habitual ritual routine, got a food combined to bring down that gut. It'll help you to have more energy. You, uh, the plus is good, but that's standing on a railroad track with plus hand, you know, holding up plus. That's just going to support your adrenals, help to maintain your blood sugar. But if you're not eating enough protein, if you're so stressed, you're not digesting and absorbing, it's, it's all going to be for naught. So are you ready to get into boot camp and do what you have to do? Well, I'm here. <laughs> I found you know, you. Michelle to get after you, man. I looked for you a couple I looked for you a couple of times and never did. So Sharon, she was my guide tonight to try to get to try to get it to find you. So and we've got Juanita to help me be accountable. So oh, we're all going to help you to be accountable. Trust me. One, so I've been, I've gotten, I did not get today, but I've gotten probably a week of walking in just a mile. I know it's not a thousand. When you wake up, what do you do when you wake up? Oh, I get ready to, uh, I do lecture in church and stuff. So that takes care of my. No, first. no, no. When your feet hit the ground from the bed. What's the first thing you do? I go to the re uh, restroom. It used to be um, if I had time. No, no, there's no problem with going to the bathroom. But okay. I can't stand it. I can't it. stand and start shoving food in and well, stuff Diane, like that. Diane, Diane, did you do the Flush Your Fat for Good program ever? Yeah, I did before. Okay, so here's what you're going to do, because we got to get the 40 off you, because 20 pounds overweight is linked to 20 health conditions. So you think you got problems now? You're, you're heading into trouble. So you don't have to shove food in your mouth, but you have to start off with fruit. But I thought it was what? How many minutes after your fruit or 20 minutes or whatever for for your latte? Yeah, so you do your fruit. You do some apple or blueberries or some mangoes or uh, whatever low glycemic fruit is. Go to the shower, make your bed. 20 minutes later, set up your latte and put your two scoops of Oseline in there. Do your organic coffee and your unsweetened soy milk or your hemp milk or your goat milk. Do you remember all that? Okay, I'm up at 5.30. At 6.30, I'm out the door because I've got two hours at church. That's plenty of time. To what? Eat your fruit and make your latte. Thank you. <laughs> There is I one am. step after that, but I wasn't going there yet. I'll let Jackie. <laughs> Diane, honey, in an hour, you don't have grandkids and you don't have little kids running around. And in an hour, you can go to the bathroom. You can take a shower. You can make your bed if you want. You can go eat some fruit, do whatever else 20 minutes later, make your latte and run out the door if you wish. That's Fully 60 minutes, easy. Every day. Her protein meal too. Well, how long are you at church? Usually until like 8.30. And this is where- so you, leave it, you, you leave it 6.30 with your latte? I was gonna say, I leave and I'm, I go to church. So I'm not back here until about 8.30. That's fine. And, and I used to go at nine, I used to go like, depending on my time frame, to get a walk in before I came home. Well, you're gonna burn out your adrenals and be more stressed, even more so if you do that. If you're on an empty stomach, you're gonna beat a dead horse. You've gotta support yourself. If you're going out walking, better have some protein in your system. So that means the latte comes first before I go for the walk. 
what you would wind up doing, in my opinion, is you wake up, you immediately go to the kitchen, and if you're uh, organized and stuff, you can have cut up fruit already, or you just get blueberries and, and whatever, throw them in a bowl <laughs> so that you have a nice uh, bowl of fruit, cut up apples or whatever. You take a minute to eat that fruit because that is breaking your fast. Your food from the night before, the probiotics you took the night before, they're all colonizing. So that when you eat the fruit, what is fruit? What is fruit, guys? You know. Scrub brush, scrub brush. Yes, thank you, Juanita. Nature <laughs> scrub brush. So the fruit is going to help move the food through. That'll, in, that'll encourage a good bowel. I was gonna say a rake. That's gonna pick up your blood sugar as well. Then you do whatever you have to do during the 20 minutes and you make your latte a cup to a cup and a half of your recommended milks, two scoops of Oseline, cinnamon, a dash of cayenne pepper, and you make your organic coffee. You can take that to church with you and drink that. I'm not taking coffee and drinking it in church. No, you take oh, it. She means on the way. Yeah. She means like if you don't have time to drink it at home, just take it with you and drink it on your way to church. Right. And at the same time, you can drink it at home as well while you're getting dressed, whatever. It's important to help you burn the fat. It's important to instigate your satiety center, to release cholecystokinin, to tell your satiety center that you are full and satisfied. At the same time, it's going to go to your muscles and build lean muscle mass because everything you do with your lean muscle mass is going to burn your fat. So you don't drink that in church, but you can drink it at, at home and then you get in the car and you can drink it on the way. You could also have a Tupperware uh, filled with some goat yogurt and soap nuts or Jackie's chicken salad, whatever, put it in your purse or bag. And when you're out of church, you have some food to eat or you come home. If you do your latte right, you're good for two hours. You can even add an extra scoop of Oseline because that'll be more protein for you because you need the protein. You need a lot of protein and that's already pre-digested so it won't interfere with anything. At the same time, when you come home, eat a little something like your goat yogurt and nuts. Enjoy that, eat that, and then go for your walk because now you have substantially fueled your body to be able to exercise. And while you're walking for 30 minutes, that'll be the time that you'll have the energy and your body will be supported to twitch the muscles to burn the fat. You want 40 pounds off? That's the best way to do it. Then that's four hours of digestion time with the goat yogurt or the Jackie's chicken salad, or you can make what I saw Kristen do today was awesome. And she's in a hotel room and she had the turkey slices and she had lettuce and mayo and then she threw the dill pickle in there and everything. That girl's rocking it. She's got 200 pounds to lose and she is, she's doing amazing. So, uh, and then you do your proteins even more, wait four hours for it to digest and then go back into your fruit and start all over again. But don't do the coffee latte. Just do the Oseline in the recommended milks uh, do three scoops of the Oseline. That would be better than doing 16 plus for sure. And then you, after that, after your uh, Oseline latte, then you go into another protein meal. Okay. Do, do I have to, is there a time frame that I have to leave between fruit and latte? 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Always eat your fruit alone. Put it on an empty stomach. Well, I remember that. It's just I would never try to get it into me. I'd wait till I come home. No, I'm telling you how to do it right because okay. you have 40 pounds to lose. And yeah. you're under tremendous stress. So you will notice you'll be able to 
handle your stress better, sleep better, and function better and have a stronger body because after a while you're going to lose your posture. You made me sit up straight. <laughs> yes, I can tell. I can tell my back muscles and and yeah, stuff. and your bones. Your protein is uh, responsible for helping to build bones. Your blood, your tissue, everything. You know what did Hippocrates say? Let food be thy <laughs> Let food be our medicine. <laughs> You guys are hot, man. Let your food be your medicine, your medicine be your food. Yeah. That is it. And Juanita, it's really good to see the top of your head like that. I thought I thought Juanita was fishing before when she I know. Was something. I was like, what was she like? I think she was eating or something. She's bobbing for apples, I think. Yeah. She's always entertaining, man. That girl is I'm eating. I mean, are you still swimming, Juanita? Well, not this week because the lady's gone, but yes, ma'am, I am. Okay. Did the stretching help with your feet? Uh, so far it has. Okay, good. Yep. Yep. Just, just you know. Come so let me, I, I have a question. I, because I, I've been, uh, I, it sounds like I may haven't been doing well exactly right. <laughs> I a lot to... Nina, you're not coaching her? What the heck? Okay, what, yeah. Karen? What's well, going on, Sharon Young? Well, because, all right. So uh, I go to my swimming time. I have to leave for swimming by like 7.15 at the latest. So if I, so do I have to, I haven't been doing my fruit before I go. Oh, you got to get well, up. What there. time do you wake up? Uh on swimming days, 640. Uh, wait, what time do you have to be swimming? I, the, swimming the swimming starts at 8, but it's the way I have to drive to the place, and it's, you know, like a 25-minute drive, so I have to leave by, like, 7.15 from my house to get there in time. To and you wake up at what time? 6.40. 6.40 on swimming. Okay, so now guess what? I'm getting up earlier. <laughs> That's right. You're getting up at 6.30. How much do you have to lose, Sharon Young? Uh, yeah, I probably have another 40 pounds. 6.30, you're getting up. But also, I mean, when, so you weren't doing your fruit or your latte before you went? No. So you- Because if I did the fruit, if I did the fruit before I went- Yeah. It would be too long before I get done and got home from swimming. No, so oh, you do your fruit and you make your latte. And if you have a half hour drive, even if you don't drink it at home, you drink it on the way. Yeah, well, I just oh, learned, dude. That, I learned that listening to what you were telling yeah. Diane. It was <laughs> like, before, it was like Diane. Diane, you're not alone, girl. Oh, no. Okay. Uh, Sharon, Sharon has just yeah. been waking up lately. So yeah. she right. just figured out now that she listens to things, especially with you, Diane, you, yeah. just, you just helped Sharon a lot. Right. Yeah, it was. And I, I realize really I'm not telling people that's things. not what I'm doing. I'm not doing oh. that part right. <laughs> well, see, I, I had, yeah, okay. And then, Sharon, um, Sharon, yes. Sharon, Sharon. Okay. What's more Got important, it. losing the weight and becoming lean and healthy or getting up late and not having time to do what you need to do? No, I, I can get up earlier. That's not a problem. Okay. Well, then now we just figured that out, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah, the whole I'm routine. Call, I'm, I'm going to do calling you when I get up, Sharon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, thank you. Go um, out. Well, it's a support group. What can I say? Yeah, really. Yeah, good support. I mean, so, Michelle right, got her. Okay. Now, the problem is going to come on the time <laughs> I can get the fruit and the latte in prior to the swimming class. Okay. Then the swimming class is going to be like, you know, another hour, and by the time I get, well, the other problem is I don't go home after on Tuesday. Okay, I so I have a color studio. So how do I get a meal? Let's there? hear Michelle's suggestion. I got one, okay. Michelle. What are you? Uh, well, you had already suggested taking a Tupperware container of either the chicken salad or the goat milk with the nuts or whatever. But I know uh, Jackie loves this word. 
but you can make little frittatas in, um, you can make it in like cupcake, tin, you know, uh, things so that you have like a dozen little yep. egg vegetables. I'm not making anything. You know what a frittata is? I don't know. I'm not making, I don't cook. So we, we got a problem. It's not cooking. Does, does. <laughs> if you put it in a cupcake thing, it's good. <laughs> No, no, no. She's right, though. This is really a hot item here. If you and cut up your, yeah, cut up some vegetables and put it in the cupcake thing. That sounds like cooking, cutting up vegetables. Oh, don't you cut up vegetables for anything else? This is for Hajir. She can help you. She's the cook. <laughs> yeah. She will make this for you. Where okay, let me it? explain something. Either the goat yogurt you have or Jackie's chicken salad. Do you make Jackie's chicken salad, Sharon? I, it's cooking. I made, I've made chicken salad. I'm not. Anita. <laughs> no, she Anita, doesn't. We need no. help. Okay, look. She I don't know what this recipe is for that. Okay, do you have the books? I think I do. I have the workbook, I think. It's in the workbook, and do you? And if you are, are you a VIP member on our uh, website? Yes. No, no, probably not. Okay, so I Sharon, yes. become uh, become a VIP member at least for a month. Watch Dr. Vicky and myself in the kitchen making it all because. You have got to take care of your health. And you can say, in the past, I was not a cook. But now <laughs> I have to learn to at least do minimal things in order to get food into me. What Michelle was talking about is Jackie's veggie. Uh, uh, well, I do the veggie omelet, but also the muffins, which is easy. You take eggs, you throw it in a bowl. You whip, and by the way, you have to crack the eggs open, okay? <laughs> so don't put that, no shells. That, but I'm not sure. No shells, right, definitely. Yeah, you mix up, and we show how to do this with our videos. I'm in the kitchen, uh, Dr. Vicky's in the kitchen, and we're showing okay. people how to do this because a lot of people uh, are, they don't know, you know, you're not alone. A lot of people, I don't cook, I don't cook, I don't cook. Well, the sheriff, the retired uh, deputy sheriff uh, that went up to, she was in LA and then she retired, bought a big ranch and rescued horses up in Gilroy, California. You can see her before and after pictures on our website. And uh, she always told us, I don't cook. And I said, you won't have to worry about it because you're going to die. <laughs> don't worry about it. But she said, no, I don't want to die because I have all these horses I rescued. So I said, you need rescuing. Stop with the behavior. I don't cook because God gave you this body and you are responsible for it. And you have a car. Are you responsible for making sure it's maintained and you put gas in it? Well, yes. God gave you the body that you should really be responsible in treating it properly. And the body requires digestion, absorption, and elimination. That only happens if you put the food into your mouth to chew it up, to masticate in your mouth, to swallow it, and have it go into your stomach to begin with. It's not a lot to do, but if you can drive a car, you can cut up some veggies like little bell peppers, the red ones, mushrooms if you like, the tops off of the broccoli, tips of the asparagus, whatever veggies you like, get some goat cheese, mix it all up into the bowl with the eggs, throw the eggs just with a ladle into the cupcake pan, then you put the veggies, you put some goat cheese in the middle. And what I like to do is some salsa on top. And I like the green salsa from Trader Joe's. You bake the salsa or you put the salsa on when you eat it? No, I put it right in. Bake it. Oh. I love it. And it mixes all up with the veggies. It mixes all up with the goat cheese. And when you cut that sucker open, it just, whoo, all that good stuff is in there and it's all melted. 
But the video of how we do all this stuff, including the chicken salad, Sharon, is right there. So you so, need to be and, that, and what's the website? <sighs> Flush your fat for good. <laughs> Flush your fat for good dot com it's the number four good <laughs> flush your fat number four good number four. dot com good. Okay. boy by the time we're done with sharon man she's gonna be woo. Okay. Go. okay and then and then when i go on there i'll find how to uh go yeah go to the storefront and become a vip member you can cancel at any time but you'll get the month uh subscription and then mm -hmm. you go up to the top where the vip uh information is and the uh, menu will come down and you'll see uh whatever's there you'll see uh the videos you'll hear troubleshooting calls uh the recipes are all written out but you want to just see us do it on in the uh kitchen mm -hmm. that was the, i mean we spent three days something like 72 hours straight trying to record all of that. So you guys, you don't, you don't even have to read a book. You just watch us do that. Then we even have a video where we start, it's a funny video where we start off the day when we wake up in the morning and we're three, it's uh, Kathleen, Dr. Vicki and myself, and we all had different things we had to do for the day. And wow. it's explained. What Kathy had to, Kathleen had to do, what Dr. Vicki had to do, what I had to do. And you watched our, our routine throughout the whole day. I mean, it's it, to me, it was priceless because it just, you don't have to read a book. I hate to read, even though I wrote one, but you just have to see what we did, you know? Yeah. And Sharon, you're going to make Jackie's chicken salad and you're going to make fatatas, which is actually Jackie's vegetable egg muffins. You can do the three egg omelet and cut and do six egg omelet the same way and you can save it and just heat it up. But you need all those vegetables. The harder to chew, the more you lose. Yeah, I just think the muffins are easier for travel food. I like agree, the muffins are awesome. The, and, and you can, um, you yeah. don't need to eat them hot. like. I just eat them sometimes because I know I have to eat something. Yes, thank you. And how are you doing? Because your face is looking thinner. It's probably the angle. <laughs> <laughs> no, tell me what's going on. Show me that angle. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, you know, I've done good and bad this week. You know, I just, yeah. Well, what was the bad? So the bad, um, I, I just been working way too much and so when i'm working i'm not eating properly because like sunday i packed a whole bunch of food to take with me because i was working for my cousin at his restaurant and i had to be there by one o'clock so i ate before i left but i packed a whole bunch of food and i never had time to eat it you know did you, so, did you eat starch cookies chips no i didn't eat bad okay, things good. i, I just want to make sure your bad isn't like evil so, no, but I did have some wine. <laughs> what? I did. Like at the end of the night, I was like, well, I could pretend this is my second serving of fruit. <laughs> <laughs> no, Michelle, you can't. And, and then I and then I mentally told myself, all right, well, then in eight hours I'll we'll have reset. <laughs> Well, it affected your liver because you're still detoxing, number one. And number two, it kind of threw you out of ketosis. Mm -hmm. But it's, um, was it red wine? Yes. So you have a little resveratrol in there. But uh, did you, was it worth it? Honestly? <laughs> no, yeah. don't tell me. No, it really was. <laughs> no, it was because you were so stressed out. You know what? I, yeah, I had an extremely long day. And Sunday is usually my only day off. And I okay, ended up You guys need to know what to do instead of using alcohol to chill yourselves out. You need to get either tryptophan, you need to pop a few couple more plus, or uh, you need to get tyrosine. These are, uh, you can get off the Wellivate uh, site that Dr. Vicki has set up for you guys. 
Uh, it's a physician site and she has uh, uh, doctor discounts for you all. And if you're really stressed out or you wanna just keep yourself chill, you order tryptophan or tyrosine. They give L-tyrosine to people in insane asylums. Tryptophan is found in Turkey and it helps to relax you and calm you and helps you to sleep. I but it also was a bad thing. Huh? I don't know why. I always thought that tryptophan was a bad thing. No, Turkey. that was a scam years ago. Uh, the man that we know that is the father of amino acids. You know how McAnally is the father of glyconutrients? Mm -hmm. The father of amino acids is Don Tyson. He established through biological fermentation how to make amino acids uh, grown on sugar beets or molasses. They're, they're not uh, <clears throat> amino acids broken down from a, a protein source. He literally takes the amino acids and grows them. So they're single full free form amino acids. He had to show up in Congress to explain the scam that took place with the tryptophan. And it happened that it was in a lab, I think it was China or Japan, and it was a, a bad lab that put uh, <clears throat> like a certain kind of uh, uh, bacteria or fungus in it. It was only mm -hmm. one batch. And then of course the CDC went out of control and nuts and took them all off the shelf. It was just that bad batch. So we had to get all of our tryptophan um, underground, but um, tryptophan is found in Turkey. Tryptophan is great for you. And that's why I love those turkey tacos that I show you guys how to make. What so, is the other thing that you said? Is that on your website? Tyrosine. When you go to the Wellevate, well uh, we, we posted it there and I can post it again. Uh, Dr. Vicki set it up to where you guys can be like her patients that have access to any uh, nutritional product that you want. Spell Wellevate, uh, please. Uh, w E L L A V A T E. Hold on, let me let my dog out. Go on, go, baby. Is that dot com? Yeah, um, you'll. Um, Is it wellevate.com? Yes. Yes, but I, I want you to have Dr. Vicky's link so you can get the discount. Hold on. And it's it's in the room. If you go into the Facebook room, yeah. Hold on. Uh, where am I gonna find that? I don't really get overstressed. I mean, I was just kind of teasing that way, you know, like, oh yeah, it felt good. But um, I don't usually get overstressed. I just had long, long days and I won't have a day off for another week. But I was just thinking, I do have a friend that has extremely high anxiety. Do you think that would be good for somebody like that? Oh yeah. oh yeah. She, I mean, she has such bad anxiety that she can't even get on the train in New York city to come up here to see her father. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's that. Yeah. Uh, well, both of those will help her. Well, is, let me see if I can get this for you. Um, that's that's kind of hard to see, huh? Hold on. It's, um, you know what I'll do? I will. I'll post it. I'm going to post it after I post this. And so you guys will know that you have access for all kinds of stuff. Uh, your girlfriend should, you know, the tryptophan is uh, going to be extremely important for her. Tyrosine is more of a mood elevator. That would be good for Juanita. Mm -hmm. um, there is no pill for stupid. So you guys become a VIP member and go look at how to feed yourselves properly because we got to get the 40 pounds off of Diane. We got to get the 40 pounds off of Sharon. Uh, Michelle, you said 60. Uh, Juanita, what are you? Juanita, we lost Juanita's face. Juanita's in the She's drowning. She's drowning. <laughs> She's drowning. in the water. <laughs> Underwater. Okay. And um, if you guys do not have uh, the workbook, I think I have two copies of the workbook, actually. Okay, it works when you open it up, Sharon. I've, I've noticed that. And look at, oh, you're supposed to read it. <laughs> <laughs>
Um, oh. oh, look, look, Juanita's hair is popping. Almost there, she is. there she is. I'm back. I'm back. I'm eating. I'm eating. Okay. Oh, everybody take notice. Juanita is eating. Yeah, first time today. It's not good. No, no. And why is that? <laughs> Just got busy and I wasn't hungry. No. And what have we what have we learned about that? It doesn't work. She had yeah, her right. latte, I bet. I, bet you had I had my fruit and my latte. Okay, well twice. then But okay. I have that, I haven't ate anything else. That's it. But you ate. Well, yeah, I ate that. Okay, so you had 20 grams of protein in your latte. Uh, yeah, I you do three research. scoops, whatever that is. Okay, so you have, that's, that's uh, 20, 25 grams. 25. No, no, no. They're five grams each, and then it's 10, 15 grams of protein. Then how much milk? What kind of milk are you doing? I do the silk soy. Okay, and, uh, and that's about a cup? A that cup is, and a half, probably. Okay, My good. cup is huge. Yeah, mine too. So that's a good, that's about 12 grams of protein. So you had some protein there. You had your fruit, so you got some uh, fiber and you got some nutrients and and that's all you did. So what are you eating right now? I'm eating spaghetti squash with turkey and onion and what else? Um, garlic and these little peppers, wherever it is. Are they red? Oh, what are they? Oh, those are good. The little peppers. Yeah, yeah. Those are organic, right? Yeah. No, well, I don't know. I got them at Walmart. You, I don't find organic here. Walmart no. does have organics from time to time, I think. Okay. So, okay. What's your vegetable in that? Not just the spaghetti, because that's soft. What's your other vegetable? Uh, onion and, and, and turkey. And then I'm using this as a, this is a vegetable. Okay. Yes, it is. And it's hard to chew, right? Yes, it is. Okay. So you're doing good, man. However, uh, what time is it there? Because we don't know. You're in a, an ocean. <laughs> I think it's 7.30. Okay. So before bed, you're going to have goat yogurt and nuts. Okay. There you go. So now she's adding more protein to her life. Then you're going to take your GI Pro, your, your probiotics right before bed, correct? Right. Yes, I do that. Okay. I do that. Too. So that when you wake up in the morning... All those little guys in the GI Pro or whatever probiotics you're using have colonated. They were all colonizing all throughout the whole night. They're right in your gut waiting to receive your fruit. So they can be, it, it'll help them to grow more. And it's going to allow the next bit of food to come in to be digested, absorbed, and then you eliminate. And elimination, Diane, you should be having at least three to four bowel movements a day. Hmm. She's not saying a word. No, she started to smile. I did, I did have that today. Good for you. Today. I did. Okay. Yes. Well, I did too. Okay. And, but, that's, and that is good for me. Well, the day is still young. Did you have your fruit today? Uh -huh. Yeah, see, I, I get my fruit in and then the latte and it seems like something happened here oh well, we still hear you and see you oh okay but it was saying i was unplugged so it's like oh. Oh. well maybe you are i don't know <laughs> that, could, that, that could be that could be <laughs> okay so i need to do the gi pro do you do that in Maybe take that an hour before bed. No, no, right before your head hits the pillow. Right before bed. Okay. You let those little guys go straight down your gut. How much water do you take with that? No, it's it, it's you just swish it in your mouth and swallow it. It seems like I really get dry. I try that, and it seems like I really, really get dry mouth. With what GI Pro? Yeah. Okay, well, drink a little bit of water. Okay. So I I didn't know if I was not taking enough water. Well, no, you should drink water to, to make it go down into your uh, upper jejunum, your, your small intestines. Drink some water. Okay. Don't drink a lot, you're going to be up in the middle of the night. 
I know. See, that was that was why I never well, did. I mean, a, a quarter cup is good enough. Okay. Well, we'll try that. We'll try that. And okay. See don't that. forget your GI zyme you take uh, right before your protein meals. Yes. Hello. I always do that. Hello. I'd always do that. Hello. Who's on the phone, Juanita? I don't know. Is that your me. knee or finger? I can't tell what the heck that is. Oh, that's her hand. Boy. Okay. Talk to the hand. <laughs> how much? How much? Uh, uh, if I don't uh, take GI Zyme before I eat, should I take it as soon as I think about it? Yeah, if you forget about it. You know, Kristen, she I tapes it on the back of her hand. But yes, as soon as you remember, you want it before because it's acid activated and acid act. Um, Acid activated and acid protected. So in other words, once you, you swallow it, the GI zyme is gonna go right, the different enzymes are gonna go right where they need to go, awaiting the food. But if you forget, then take it right away. What, Diane, what, what were you asking? Oh, I didn't mean to interrupt. As far oh, as fine. Extra, exercise or uh, walking or whatever, do you recommend trying to do weights and stuff also? Yes, but what is required for the flesh or fat for good program is to walk five days a week, 30 minutes at a time. 30 minutes at a time, okay. Yeah. So uh, do a nice brisk walk if you can, 30 minutes, because guess what happens when you stop that? When you stop it walking? Keeps, it keeps still burning. Yes, because you still keep walking. So your brain has been triggered. The walk is really important. If your dog's fat, you're not walking enough. <laughs> I do have to say that one thing I did um, that you had suggested, I so even though I had all that food and I didn't have time to eat it, like I felt myself getting hungry. And so I had to like find a minute to get into the walk-in cooler and I just grabbed my cucumbers and I had some of the mayo, although I did forget to put the lemon in it, but I ate some of those cucumbers with the mayo. I had a little bit of seasoning in it <clears throat> and it helped me until I yeah. got to yeah. eat that's brilliant. And the cucumbers are very high in vitamin C. We have to protect our immune systems. So if you cut up the, the vegetables, uh, you know, the nutrients in there, it's not just to fill you up. It's the nutrients to keep sustain your body. And mm -hmm. the lemon is what helps you to salivate more. So you'll want to mm -hmm. eat more and drink more. Diane, do you know about the cran flush? Yes, and I'm having a hard time getting back into getting that into me. It, okay. I never noticed it before when I was on, but it seems to really sour it. And that, so I, as you can tell, it's I, it's barely pink, but I'm. Well, do you have at, the tall boss bottles? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so fill up three of them. You You don't have to do. You know, make sure the cranberries in there because there's a reason. Right, I know that for the And of course, it's not. A, I mean, after a while, the more you do it, the more your body says, "Ooh, this is good for me. I like this." People at first say, Ugh. but after that, they're like craving it, and that's because the body knows what's best for you. So, uh, you can also squeeze lemon in there to help you to salivate. Um, you can do a pinch of pink Himalayan salt. Okay. To act like a, an electrolyte, especially when you're stressed like you, you can, you can lose a lot of your electrolytes. Okay. Where, where are you living, Diane? Iowa. How's the weather over there? We just had uh, rain here. Okay. It was actually cool this morning. At, I, it was like 43 degrees. So it was ah. jacket and stuff, believe it or not. It's crazy. Mm. Yeah. That's uh, what sure. we're getting here in New York. Huh? That's what we're getting here in New York. I'm out on my back porch with like a jacket and a blanket. Uh -huh. That's crazy. <laughs> well, we're about, uh, I don't know. Not, we're we're kind of cool. We're at uh, 80, 98 degrees. <laughs> <laughs> that was yesterday. We're at 62 right here in uh -huh. Michigan. All right. Well, the point is when the heat really starts popping up, you guys mm -hmm. just put a pinch of pink Himalayan salt into all of your Voss bottles. Okay. 
that'll help you to maintain your fluids. Mm. Plus, there's minerals in the in the pink Himalayan salt. There's a good many stuff bottles, in that. How many bottles of uh, Cram Plus are you supposed to be? Three, 81 Three. ounces. Okay. And and have it with you at all times. Um, you don't really want the Cram Plus in a plastic bottle. Right. Okay. But uh, Diane, that's going to be really important for you because you're going to forget about yourself. And like I tell everybody, if you haven't had a kidney stone, try to avoid it. Okay. Sharon, how much are you drinking? Sharon, Sharon Young. Sharon? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I hear you. I'm not drinking. <laughs> <laughs> I have one right here, though. Is it sort of in your? Oh, mouth. usually when you open it up and put it to your mouth, yeah, that's that's called drinking it. <laughs> I know. Yeah, I, I've drank this much so far. Force yourself, guys. Force yourself. It's about your liver and kidneys. And if you really want to get this fat off, all the toxins harbor in your fat cells. And when you start to burn and break up your fat, it opens up like an onion and all the toxins start coming out. That's going to go through your liver and, and you have to eliminate it. Your liver is the number one filtering uh, organ in your body. Uh, but uh, who's on the CLA GLA? Oh, I need to order more, but I, I need to get that done. OK, yeah. that's on the website, too, Diane. So okay. when you when you become a VIP member, I'm not kidding you guys. I do this voluntarily every Tuesday because I watched a lot of people being completely decimated with their health, with their weight, with their emotions. I listened to Wendy Kramer on a call for the the Thurston's. And they, they interviewed me as to my book and the workbook mm -hmm. and the blah, blah, blah. They want to know more about it. God bless Wendy, man. She, she talked about how great she felt, how great she looked. And then when COVID hit, all she wanted was comfort food and she lost her way. Mm -hmm. And man, she looked like a million bucks and she had energy. She was spunky. She was full of life. And she admitted, she said, I have to admit, and she knew, she knew she had to get back on because it's not right for us to let ourselves go. We have to, it, we don't have to lose fat to look good. We have to lose our fat so we don't encourage cancer, heart disease, diabetes, autoimmune, all different kinds of conditions. So this is not just about getting yourself through the summer. And then when the holidays come, you feel like a million bucks. You have energy and you're in clothes that you're, you're just not feeling uncomfortable in. But the name of my book is Flesh Your Fat for Good, Be Lean and Healthy for Life. It's about being lean. You know, you don't have to look like a Barbie doll. You don't have to look like a model. You don't have to look like, oh, no. You have to be lean and make sure that fat is not surrounded. This visceral fat is killing people. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people, all of a sudden, they get the scare of their life when the doctor says, you know, your blood sugar is kind of high. Which yeah. reminds me, Michelle, when yeah. are you going to have your next blood test taken? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> okay, so the last time the doc I know about the story with your doctor. Um, yeah. I would like for you to show up at your doctor's whenever you feel like you have to do that mm -hmm. and put her into shock. Yeah. You know yeah. I mean? Well, she wanted me to make another appointment. I don't think I did, but she wanted me to make another appointment because she wants me to go get all these other things done and I'm not going to do them. Yeah. Well, what you're going to do is first really be adamant, no CD on getting your body tip top shape. Okay. Okay. And Monita, I'm, slacking. Huh? I'm slacking in two. I'm slacking in two areas, and I I don't know how to get myself unslacked. Okay, what is it? 
I'm slacking in doing enough exercise and I'm slacking in drinking enough cran flush. And, you know. Okay, in the morning when you take your supplements, do you do it with your cran flush? I do do that. Okay. You know, that, yeah. that's, you know I'm, I'm kind of good in the morning up until I have to go on the rest of my day. Then you blow it, right? <laughs> uh, well, do, do you have a pinch of pink Himalayan salt in your cran flush? No. Do it. But I, I didn't think of that. I didn't. It, 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 I know you've said that before, but I didn't really. Yeah, I'm just trying to prevent kidney stones and dehydration with you girls. Um, the, um, what was the other thing you're slacking on? My exercise. Okay. Walk in a half hour. Yeah, sometimes that might be hard to get in. 30 minutes. Swim. Yeah, that's, that's a long time. No, but you swim. I, is swimming, can swimming count? Yeah. I do water, water aerobics. No, oh, swimming is awesome. It's not really swimming, it's water aerobics. It's walking. Oh, that's, that's, that's exercise. Yeah, that's, 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 yeah. How long I mean, is that class for? Uh, 45 minutes. Okay, you're done. That's good. You got well, it. That's How only Tuesday days? and Thursday. No. Tuesday okay. and Thursday. Then Monday, Wednesday, uh, I go to Planet Fitness and I do the machines. But okay. I don't do a 30 minute walk that day. Yeah, but well, that's. That's exercise. That's it is exercise, but you want to get your lymphatics going. Walking is the best thing. The studies were done with thousands and thousands of people. Okay, so if I did, how about 15 minutes after the machines on the treadmill? Uh, how about you only do machines twice a week and you walk the right. other? Well, two of those days I do the swimming. Okay, so there's seven days in the week, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> The hell? Um, okay, so two days are swimming, right? Yep. And then that so seems I, to be like three days of walking. Days. Three days of walking. Yeah. But with the machines, do I have to still walk a half of 30 minutes? I mean, if you can do 30 minutes, after, how much do you do of the machines? I'm, I'm there for an hour. Okay, how are those machines working for you, Sharon? I, well, I'm, I, I think I'm getting stronger. I am getting stronger for sure. I know my abductors and adductors are getting stronger because the, my, my myofascia uh, therapist tests it every week. <laughs> As I'm getting so, stronger. Okay, so how about you do 30 minutes of the machines and go do 30 minutes of walking? I it tightens up your core. Oh, I see walking. what you're saying. Yeah. Do less of the machines and more walking. Yes, you need your lymphatic system. You need to clear your lymphatic system. Okay. And yeah, I don't know. My okay. Well, I, I have a little bit of a trick right knee also that kind of when when I'm walking can Okay, wrap it. Well, I do have a brace on it, but it's like Okay, so nobody's no, no, has to be a marathon runner. Just get your no, body no, out no. there to where your arms are swinging. Your legs are walking and and you're upright. If you're just doing the machines, you're not getting any aerobics happening. You are in the pool. Yeah, no, but I could I'm I could do treadmill in the after you know in, in my machine routine. Okay, okay. That's walking. Uh, yeah, Juanita? Walking. Yes. Can you come out of the ocean for a minute, please? <laughs> I'm out of the ocean. Okay. Um are you walking, babe? No. No, no, no. Just swimming, but I'm not swimming this week. So okay. I should be walking, right? Okay, good. Sure. Exactly. Do you sure. walk the dogs? Uh, no. You haven't been out walking the dogs? I have not. Oh. So I your dogs are suffering? Well, I have a huge backyard. Dogs are fine, but oh, okay. okay. Okay, so Juanita, if you're not swimming this week, then you switch to walking. Okay, I can do that. Okay, we all heard that. Yes, we did. <laughs> okay, so look, what are we going to improve? Diane, you're just starting all over. You're in boot camp. Yeah, yeah, because I really, I really was scooped up. Part of the thing is that I'm finding that I my ankles are swelling yeah. at night and I've never really had that before. 
Is it one ankle or both? Both. Well, you're not eliminating your fluids well. So okay. drink your cran flush, start flushing out your kidneys, your liver, uh, start eating properly, start doing your fruit twice a day, do everything. I do that. You it's a half an apple or I, I take an apple and I eat half an apple in the morning and a half a pear and then the other half before, like when I do my soy milk in the afternoon. Okay, wait. You do half an apple and half, half a pear? An I, I take an apple and a pear. So I do apple, half a apple, half a pear in the morning, and then I take the other half mm -hmm. of pear and apple at, at night. Okay, try, try broadening your horizons with like kiwi, mango, blueberries, uh, red organic grapes. Oh, I just got some cherries. I got some yeah. cherries. Are they organic? Yes. Okay, good for you. We're having a hard time finding them. The, okay, so I want you guys to become VIP specialists, get in there, members, watch us in the, in, you know, spend the whole week watching the kitchen stuff. And then okay. Michelle, pink Himalayan salt. And uh, as far as the exercise is concerned, first of all, you have to drink, huh? I just got to do it. Okay, so give us your address and we'll go over and get you. <laughs> what do you want? You're going to do it. I mean, I yeah, I know. Oh, no, you're going to freak out once you know that if you get out there and just start walking around the block, is it safe in your neighborhood? I, yeah, no, my neighborhood is great. Uh, you know, I, I will... I will try to get myself to do the walking. The right. you know my feet are just so bad that oh, I'm standing. I, I yeah. I mean okay. I okay. Then you what you have to do is get a desk cycle. Yeah, you posted that, didn't you? Yes, I did. I want to send that to my other friend yeah. too. And I did it for you. Well, I I have exercise <laughs> equipment downstairs that when I do go downstairs. <laughs> use it I do feel better it's just I don't know where my mental block is to not go down yeah, I know, but just kick yourself in the ass and get going yeah okay all right girls it's 601 bless you I love you I gotta go bye thank you it, so much you're welcome we'll thanks, meet Jack. next Tuesday okay bye thanks Jackie thank you. good welcome. luck everyone bye <laughs>